Welcome to Decker Tech. I'm Aaron Decker, and today we're going to do the starting setup for a run. The kind of steps I go through on any difficulty. I usually play Madness 14 or higher. I am going to record this at a little lower difficulty so you have more decision points that you see me make. But overall, we're going to go through all the steps to starting a run uh, as quickly as possible and as succinctly as possible. Um, if you like what you see, please let me know by watching it, sharing it, and uh, give me some feedback on what else you want to see. Yes. All right. So first off, I got to pick my team comp. Now that part is a little more involved and I'm not going to go over all of that, but let's just go with the default one that everyone has access to. And I'm going to first off, I'm going to make the team. I'm going to set up their speeds, uh, make an idea of their turn order. Magnus up front, Andrew in the back is my DPS because I want him to go last. Uh, actually, Andrew's not going to really be able to go last compared to the rest of these, but I don't want to silence in the back, so this should be just fine. Turn orders matter in the fact that front takes the most damage, back takes the second most damage, and has silences and needs some high physical resistances. And then turn order, speed-wise, ties go to the, the front person will go before the back person. So you want to try to range your team so that front to back is the turn order that you want them to go in for the most part. Uh, let's bring this down to Madness. Man, the base Madness 3, so that we have the most gold and charge to look at. The process is still the same. I'm still going to go through the exact same steps as when I play Madness 16, but I just have, you'll be able to see me make deci more decisions based on having more currency. That's going to be the only difference there. And uh, yeah, so don't have to really worry about perks uh, until you get into it. I guess the first part, you do want to make sure that you have the right amount of like, so for me, all my perks are into shards. You'll do either gold or shards early on. Those are the only perks that you can't change. Because if you look here, I can go to perks. I can change all these to my heart's content. So I don't really have to stress about that going in other than these two columns being locked in, whether you have lots of currency or little of it. So me, I always just do lots of shards for my high madness runs because I like to craft cards, not divinations. But uh, yes, I don't care about change those. Okay, so I get into town. First step, let's hit up the shop. Uh, I'm going to be looking for any game changing items. Uh, those are usually going to be rare quality items that play into my game plan. So in this case, Aquamarine Bracelet is pretty nice. I don't have anyone with them that really has a desperate need for energy. Like if I had a Maluka, that'd be a big deal. Boots of Swiftness, I really like. I'm going to put that on Magnus. Because bam, I want speed, I want resistances. My frontliner, the you want the items you buy in the first town to be ones that get you safely and smoothly into acts two or three. So these boots of swiftness, I will probably keep all the way up until act three or four. And um, some resistances on my frontliner is a big deal. I also want Magnus to be going fast. So speed is great. Poison dagger. Um, wow. Have they updated items recently? Look at this. Look at this. I have not played since. This, that's a sneaky update. That's doing more damage than it was before. Um, slashing damage. I don't really care about the poison, but some plus more damage on my DPS. That's good. Uh, and again, like they said, these are just rare items that uh, will have good effect to the end game. I don't really need any more resistances on anyone. Uh, I might consider removing this Ranger armor from Andrin by buying reinforced armor if I need him to go slower than some of the rest of my teammates. It's not really going to be the case in this setup, so this should, well, I say that. Let's see, how, how slow can I get him? So I have one speed perk. His character sheet, he's at 20. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get Evelyn... I can't get Evelyn in front of him, right? So this would only be if I had like a Gustav or someone that I could get in front of Andrew. So him having this Ranger armor should be just fine. Next up, after you go look at these items, you're gonna go look at pets. Uh, so the biggest pet I think most important is Oculi. This one just removes a lot of buffer uh, and is good. It makes it so you can take the uh, Hexproof Corruptor a lot more often. And then of course, uh, Sharpie on your front tank if you have lots of gold to spare and then some sort of damage dealer for your damage dealer I think uh, best pets are probably Oculi, Sharpie, and Asmodee And yes, if you're going to rounds two, uh, the carp is really nice and or the palisade So the the AoE shield and or the just draw an extra card vitality I think this is probably the, my favorite of the beavers for sure uh, so I won't spend too much gold here. I'll just get the Oculi. It doesn't matter who I put it on as long as I get the perks for them. So I'm going to put it on someone that goes decently fast. Let's put it on Evelyn. 
and she just needs to now pick up the perks that do sight and insanity so that uh she can those those stacks will stay on the enemy i want someone early enough so that the stacks go on early and my better stuff is on later in case the enemy dispels their debuffs and then if i'm feeling really splurgy i'll get sharpie and magnus i don't really need that until later games uh, especially once i have an item that gives him fast on turn one and then of course uh asmodee i don't need right away either so i think we're fine maybe chompy let's give chompy to reginald there bam i bought some pets Feel free to your heart's content on how many pets you buy. After pets, we're going to finish spending up our gold by going to divinations. We're going to spend all of our gold and buy as many divinations as we can afford. Uh, I per personally think basics are the best. Fast are probably my next option. I'm just going to quickly breeze through these. Uh, Barricade's a good pickup. None of these help her game plan. Um, this is a healer um, Reginald. Otherwise, I would pick up Sunbeam. Spark of Life is great for healer Reginald. And this is a slashing Andrin, so none of these are good. And you're just going to get as many divinations as you can afford. Because you want to do this before you do the rest of your deck. Now, this is an upgraded setup. If it wasn't upgraded, I would not pick it up. But since it's upgraded, I'm okay with that. That just makes my deck a little smaller, which is good. No healing here. No good cards here. Life tap, maybe. Shock Nova, maybe. Shock Nova maybe just for the slow, but she's not really going fast enough that that slow is going to matter. Let's just pick it up anyway, because when in doubt at this point, just pick the card. Um, especially if you got poverty on, uh, unless you're really like you definitely know you need extra shards. If you are kind of on the fence, just go with the card and cut it later. It's a small opportunity cost to make a decision later. Battle plan, if it was upgraded, I'd pick it up. It is not. I'm not going to upgrade it in this town, so I will not pick it up now. And just keep doing divination until I'm running out of gold. I'm going to have one fast divination after this. Ooh, look, a big purpley thing that I'm not going to do because I'm not going to go poison. Cool. Scroll of intellect. Yes, please. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yep. There. And so I got one more divination. The nice thing about fast divinations is if you're low on gold, you can bruise, cruise through these. Hmm. Corrupted. There's nothing. The corruption on this elemental ward doesn't really do anything because the the zero you can have the zero cost and like this this isn't doing much, but I'll probably pick up the speed because that's something I'd craft anyway. Sunder armor, I'm not gonna say no to. This is one of those on the fence ones. I'll look at it and might just cut it later. Uh blam and blam. Nothing there. So the nice thing about doing lots of fast divinations is it allows you to cut a lot of the crappy starting cards easier basic divinations will actually give you more useful cards that you'll keep longer so if you're trying to get extra cards for late game basic is better if you're trying to just get through act one fast divinations are better if that makes any sense okay so now i did all that now i'm going to go craft the required cards so the required things i'm looking for i'm looking for powerful for my damage dealer they do not have that as a scout check so maybe evelyn could pick up some of it for the team and you want to make sure you have this upgraded here clicked you can't see it but i'm pointing um so the self like i mean i could go where i go a a, a stanza turn one option but this is so eh. like powerful is nice i'm not gonna be able to get it on andrin by himself reginald can give it to him with a divine power i'm gonna pretend like i'm on a higher difficulty where i can't craft a rare in the starting town uh, if I could, I'd definitely pick up this Divine Power and throw it at Andrin. Basically, you want to get powerful on your main damage dealer some way. So Prismatic Field's an option. I'm running Evelyn, though, so I'd rather run the Elemental Wards. But in this case, since I don't have any other options, um, I'll just run the... I could, I could run the Prismatic, but I'd rather her energy be going elsewhere. So Because I might just play into the Shock Nova. So first off is powerful on your main damage dealer. Uh, and then you want Dispel. I'm just no particular order here. I'm just trying to go through my oh sorry, vulnerable. I'd say powerful on a main damage dealer, vulnerable on the team. This is going to be on my usually my tank that picks it up. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna be typing vulnerable, all upgraded cards, uh piercing howl, yes please. I'm on a low enough difficulty I can craft two, so I'll craft two. Usually I'd only craft one. And then there's the intimidates. Of the intimidates, the only difference on vulnerable here, like the other two curses don't matter. I don't care about sight or mark, I just want vulnerable. So the zero cost, the white one is actually really good. Saves me a little bit of shards. 
Uh, you only get one extra mark for going to yellow, and it costs one energy to go to blue. Carnage, if I had, if I had uh, um, divinationed it, that'd be better. Ground Slam is a little better than, like, it looks better than Carnage sometimes. Problem with Ground Slam is it the three energy to two energy difference is a big deal. Uh, I can't fit a Ground Slam and a Piercing Howl together on a, a turn two or turn three, whereas I could fit a Carnage and a Piercing Howl, so... Also, I'm going to really struggle to put a barricade and a ground slam together where I can do a barricade and a carnage if I had saved up an energy. So, yes. Um, so, vulnerable. There's no one else that's going to really be applying vulnerable. Evelyn's not going to do it. Uh, Reginald is going to be self-vulnerable. We don't need that. And Andrin, he's not going to be doing this with any of his melee attack cards. So, powerful, vulnerable, dispel. Uh, so Magnus, the Dispel, is going to be the Shake It Off for himself. Uh, I just need one of them. First off, I'm going to go with White, and then I'll upgrade it to Yellow if I have extra shards later. Uh, helping Hands are a great use of Inspire. Let's pick up some of those. Repair Armor is a very efficient card for the um, tanks. Usually you want the zero cost one, but even just the one cost is better than these defense because I can put them to other players. And that's all there for him. Uh, if I'm for my mages, you're going to be running cauterizes. If you have a self burn, self bleed person, maybe I don't need any of these. Reginald, I need a dispel magic on my main healer. I definitely need the dispel three. We're going to start with the dispel two because you want to get all the cards and then upgrade them and make sure you don't run out of resources. I have plenty of resources at this difficulty, so there's there is a little bit of a downside to that, but I would like to show you that. Clarities are a great filler card. Uh, detoxifies also show up here pretty well. So let's pick up one detoxify. I like that one a lot. And uh, Panacea. This is if I can craft a rare. That's a good pickup for Reginald. It's not really a thing for him this time. And then Andrew is not going to be doing any dispelling for himself. Uh, next, I want draws and I want bless. So I want bless. Reginald, I want benedictions. Yes, please. The of the bless ones, this costs three energy for four, two for three. So I'll pick up the two for three. I can craft two because I'm a lower difficulty. Higher difficulty, you'll have to get away with less of them. And then nothing else here. She can't do bless. He can't do bless. So that's all the bless I can get for my team. And what was the last thing I said? Draw. And just the the efficient, cheap draw cards to get through my deck faster. Uh, bluff is not cheap. It is efficient, but it's not cheap. Uh, War paint, not cheap. Sorry, not efficient, I mean. Scroll of Intellect, uh, if I'm going to do this, I don't want the draw. Sorry, I guess I'll go Inspire first. So before you go to draw, I say go to Inspire because your mages will pick up the Scrolls of Intellect and the Tomes of Intellect. Um, your tanks will pick up the Helping Hands. Your scouts won't pick anything up. <laughs> I didn't think so. Your, your healer might pick up the Anthem of Hope. Uh, in this case, I don't have a Source of Courage. Yeah, I can go, I can go for an Anthem. I can go for an Anthem. I don't, definitely don't want to. Uh, you can make delay responses work if you get really crafty. It's really not a good card, though. Um, and then after Inspire, I want Draw. This is get through my deck faster. Did we already do Warrior? Nothing there. I have a mouse in my house. Um, nothing good here. I would pick up the Scroll of Intellect, but I'm going to pretend like I can't craft rares. Uh, here, I want something super finished. Flash Heals. Flash Heals are actually really great for Reginald. Uh, this is a little pricey. This is definitely splurging to, to pay 132 for a filler card. But uh, you just got to you'll, you'll get a good idea of how much you can spend, how much you can't. These deflex uh, are going to be a good filler card. Um, on my DPS, I like them a little less. I can just uh, on a momentum on a momentum hero. It's OK on some of your DPS. Some of these filler cards can get in the way. I'm not going to pay too much for setups. Also, they're rare. All right, so now I've got really big decks. Let's go through and start cutting the worst cards, and then we'll go from there. So I don't want to be doing too many rends. I might keep a rend, but I'm definitely going to get rid of some of these fast strikes, and these defends are absolutely horrible. And when we're looking at this card evaluation, like, compare those defends to these repair armors. These repair armors are dispelling mark, dispelling crack, adding reinforce, can target another hero, like... 
that was like I have five things that are better than the you know the other version that def defends. So we got rid of those. Intercepts got a little about a little bit up on repair armors because they're zero cost. They're probably the next thing to go though, other than these fast strikes. I don't need to be dealing damage with Magnus. Rend is nice just because it's a bleed, but I'm at 17 cards. I'd rather just be applying Sunder Armor, even though it costs more. So let's get rid of the Rend. And I'll upgrade this Barricade. I'll upgrade the Shake It Off if I have resources. I'll upgrade these Repair Armors. So it's an Intercept or a, a Barricade or this Sunder Armor. Definitely want to get down to 15 cards, so we'll get rid of Intercept. All right, Evelyn. She does not have many cards that we picked up, so her deck is going to look garbage for a bit longer. We're going to have to find... We'll come back to her and add more cards to her later. She needs a lot of love. So, and when you come through these cuts, you can kind of really decide, okay, who do I need to spend resources on next? Uh, Foresight's go away. Upgrade the Healing Rain. Upgrade the Barriers. Upgrade the... Get rid of the Flashes. Well... Uh, Flashes or smites first. I think we got plenty. We got plenty of cards to remove here because we added plenty to him. And you want to do the cuts before the upgrades because you don't want to upgrade a card and then just cut it later. I did go a little heavy on Reginald because I bought these flash shields, which are a little more than usual. I was able to buy a second Benediction and I bought this Anthem of Hope. So I did spend a lot more on him. Also divined a spark of life, which means I am super high on my, my, uh, my thing here resources here so it's either the barriers or the heels those both cost cost 30 to upgrade um the healing rain dispels burn so i'm gonna keep one of that uh the flash heels i really shouldn't have bought the flash heels i should have saved these for act two or three when they become one cost cantrips but they do draw so it's probably just cut the three barriers Bam. And some of these decisions you can't make because you have less, uh, you'll be, you'll be crimped on your shards. But you try to do this in an order that you, you don't back yourself into a corner too hard. So I got to cut a lot of cards here on Andrin, but I don't have any extras. So I got to spend, I got to buy more cards on Andrin and I got to buy more cards on Evelyn. But first let's go through and upgrade some stuff and then we'll see where we're at there. Uh, so let's do the two that need the most love first. So these slices, I need to do the ones that apply Mark because that is the best for him. I do have three more slots, so I feel okay upgrading this last slice. Um, you usually, I can either buy more cards now or upgrade some cards. So I'm not going to upgrade every card in their deck. I'm going to upgrade the main ones and kind of get a feel for, okay, I need three more cards here. I want a little more, I want something to dump a little energy into. I got plenty, I got plenty of dig through, so I want something to spend. I need some heavy hitters for Andrin. And when you go through an upgrade, you get a good feel of what you still need for that hero. Because uh, Andrin's super low on the price. He's good there. Reginald needs something. I need to bring his costs down. So he's going to struggle to get through his deck all the way. I'm not going to upgrade this Dispel Magic yet because I'm not sure I have enough shards for it. The Spark of Life, 210 to bring it down. Uh, usually I'd say I can't afford that right away, but I know I have lots, so I'll do that because I'm trying to bring his energy cost down. Evelyn, transmissions are a crap card. Shock Nova, I can bring it down to a three cost. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep Shock Nova yet. I probably will because I still want to cut these Fire Blasts and maybe the Frost Bolts. I need to bring in another Elemental Ward and maybe another Scroll of Speed. So we'll, we'll, we'll wait on upgrading this. But I have a good idea of what I want to change on her. And then Magnus is looking pretty good. Barricades do reinforce. Sunder armor. I can either go down to the two cost or up to the target monster. I think my energy is low enough. I could go target monster because I do have an enrage here, remember. So this 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 number is a little, little up. So 90 to target monster. Yes, I think that's good. And I think only thing left here is shake it off and maybe some helping hands. But those are those are premium. Prices, so I need to upgrade Andrin. I need melee attacks or melee slashing. I need melee slashing, right? So I need blade dances. I need blade flurries. I need double strikes. I want these repeat. So let's go. I wouldn't mind a sneaky strike, except for that's a rare. What if I put in repeat here? So it's blade flurries and then all monsters. Blade Dances. Yep. So those are the two I want. So let's go some two-cost Blade Dances. 
and let's go. I need at least one more because I'm cutting aim shot and two ruptures. So let's do a blade flurry. And I'll probably cut the hunter's mark. Yep, yep, yep. So another blade flurry. So he's his deck is super nice now. I'll cut the, I'll cut a couple there. Evelyn, I want uh, another elemental ward so I can be doing insulate. One thing we didn't do is you can also search for insulate and courage. Those are the two things you'll need for the tree. Uh, courage, Reginald has Anthem of Hope, insulate, uh, insulate. Evelyn is going to be upgrading these elemental wards and buying a third one. She doesn't need a fourth one because she applies, uh, she always applies insulate to herself. Usually though, uh, if I'm not running Evelyn, I'll be running a prismatic field of one version or another to get insulate on the whole team. And uh, yeah, she, I think I want another scroll of speed. So let's go fast. He's also going to be going speed manipulation and shock Nova, I think. So I need to get her perks that do both slowing and uh, so I could run these curse of exhaustion is what I'm saying, because I'm going to be, I think I'll apply, I'll give her slow perk. And if I did that, I'd be cutting. Yeah. So let's do that. Let's go curse of exhaustions and one more scroll of speed. Do I want an innate one? I don't really need an innate one because she's not going very fast. Um, I can upgrade it later. So let's just do this for now and look at it later. And then I said we're good here, right? If we're good at his deck, we're good at his deck. So I think next is upgrading cards, cutting cards. So let's cut some cards. We said aim shot go away, rupture go away, rupture go away, hunter's mark go away. And this is the point that if you know how to do it, I highly recommend saving your um save your run here. Make a save file. Like if you're if you're playing by yourself, if you're playing with a team, that's a different story. But because I haven't spent all my shards yet, I'm going through doing all the upgrades that I, I was on the fence about. Let's get this dispel magic done. Let's get this. So before I did this, before I upgraded the dispel magic and the shake it off or these repair armors or these helping hands and stuff. Before I did these upgrades, these these like premium ones, I'd, I'd, I'd exit out. Copy over my save file, get a backup, and then come back in so that I could be like, okay, let's make sure I don't make any mistakes with my final amount of currency. But uh, as it is, looking through these decks, they look pretty good. Uh, definitely a deck I'd run. Uh, maybe these frost bolts and these transmissions. I would rather see other cards. Uh, I do need to do perks next. Uh, I'm not going to spend the rest of my shards because you can always find... Yeah, you can always find find things to spend shards on. Oh, I need to change this. Woo! Good thing I checked. See, this is also another reason I save. It's because sometimes these things seep through the crack where I see an upgraded setup and I didn't realize it was not switched over to the correct version. And I'll leave town and I'll go to a fight and be like, ah, crap, this is the wrong version of the card. Uh, upgrading these is not doing much. Uh, I guess I could upgrade these to target monster. See, and that's just, I'm just splurging at this point. Like, I, I don't need these upgrades. Repair armors to zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scroll of intellect. Not really any upgrades that matter for that one. Innate if you're trying to do first turn shenanigans. Scroll of speed. So something I could add to her deck um, is the, what's the search for a book? Is it bookworm? Reveal one book from your draw pile and put it in your hand. So this is not a base rare. So I could buy a 313 shards to go digging for a scroll of speed or intellect. This is nice just for the options. Uh, I do I do recommend this one and I would do that in this setup. Oh, ice lances. Another thing I could have gotten for her was uh, chill. Uh, instead of this frost bolt, I could be running I'm super low on the energy though, so I'd actually need something expensive. So maybe Frost Nova. I don't know if you can get to. Can I get to a? Yeah, I can get to five chill. So I slow down all the enemy by one. Yeah. But basically, you could add in. I could add in ice lances to target someone. But her energy is low enough that I think I'm fine with just a target all monsters slow, because that's 
I don't know. The opportunity cost here. Seven. Two. Her deck is super duper cheap. Yeah. Beep. Then I cut this. Ta-da! Like, I spent way more shards than I'm used to spending, but everything looks nice and peachy and grain. And now I can go to their perks. I can go to the right menus here. Now I go through perks, and I make sure that uh, I picked up the right amount of speed manipulation. I want to look at my characters, how fast they're going. So I got a 22, 13, 12, 20. So Magnus is going before Andrin, so it'll go Magnus, Andrin, Evelyn, Reggie. I could speed up Evelyn a little more if I have the chance. So I would like to get this because she's doing speed manipulation. So I want to pick up these speed manipulation perks. Uh, so let's see what I can cut for her. You want to go here to vulnerable. Make sure that you're not... See, I've got Reginald and Andrin both have this and no one has this. So I need to go to one of them to, to flip that. Make sure that your, your vulnerable applier is getting this and the other two are picked up if needed. If you're a slashing team, you need this one. If not, you know, etc. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm not doing a wet team, so I don't need wet perks. Uh, she is applying powerful to the team. Maybe she's not my damage dealer. Oh, it looks like this was a frost Evelyn I used last. So the one downside to doing this in the game is I don't have the little the quick load here. So what I'd recommend doing is do a quick load. Don't worry about fine tuning it until you're in the game. Then get in the game, set up your team, and then do the fine tuning. And you don't need to see me do all my fine tuning here, but I go through, make sure that yeah, I want chills there. I don't need this. She's not my damage dealer. So I need to cut some of these, which means I need to put some more over here. Yep. I can't pick up that. I could pick up that instead of that. There we go. We'll just do one character. Uh, she's not the damage dealer, so she doesn't need the blessed talents. Uh, what did I say she needed? I said she needed fast and slow and speed. There we go. See, and I still got four left. And this was... This is all, whoops, cancel, confirm. This is all after I looked at my deck and I know what I'm doing. I want enough perks to the, do apply five chill. I want I want Frost Nova to slow the enemy by one. I want Shock Nova to be as strong as possible. I want these Curse of Exhaustions to be efficient because they're slowing by two. And all this is precipitated by, I, I, I saw what cards I had and now I can, I can find two of my perks. Because you can make a lot of decisions about perks before you go in the game and then find a card that just really throws off your game plan. So the only perks you really have to worry about going in beforehand are whether or not you're getting lots of shards or lots of gold or, or none of the above kind of thing. And that'll really depend on your difficulty, whether you have chests, whether you prefer divinations or crafting. Me, I prefer crafting because I always, there's always something I know I can craft, whereas divinations are just a gamble, and I'm, I, I don't like the, the, the variability of the, the divinations as much. But if you're gonna, when you do divinations, do the divinations first and then craft afterwards, because you don't want to craft and then go back and randomly divine something that you already crafted that you only need one copy of. Uh, I think that should be it. So I'll go through, I'd finish off all the perks on everyone. And then uh, I would save again, and I'd leave town, and then I would go to a fight and be like, ah, crap, this didn't work out the way I wanted to. And then uh, I would go back, and because right now my my vulnerable perks are all jacked up, right? I don't have, I didn't I didn't switch the the whatever. So I'd go here, I'd be like, oh, this is great, and then I noticed that the the perks are off, like they're uh they're not stacking they're not stacking higher, and I'd be like, oh, whoops. I, I screwed that up a little and then I'd go back and I would load up my save and fix it. And that is it in a nutshell. Hopefully that's helpful. I did not do a timer to see how long this was taking. Uh, if you uh, have any more questions and this does not help enough for starting town, let me know what I didn't cover and maybe I can do a better one, one for specifically 16 or specifically team comps. This is just a general overall one. Maybe I will do, uh, tell me, tell me if you like the idea of, um, uh, a uh, five minute build for a specific team. Like I pick a specific team and I just breeze through like, okay, here's the perks and I, I'll, I'll, I'll list them and you can do a link to copy them over. Like here's the perks I went in with. I go in, here's the order, bam, store divination. Yes, no, no, yes. Here's the things I need to craft. Bam, I'm out the door five minutes, ta-da, with that specific team. Because it's hard. There's There are over a thousand combinations of team comps. Um, but there are some teams that are more popular than others and just doing specific team comps might help be helpful to you on kind of going through the process. Uh, yep. I think that's all I got for you today. Um, 
I could really use a lot of input, feedback, and sharing to uh, make this channel more successful and or... What's the word? More direction for the channel for the future. Catch you later. Peace.